Hello. Today we are going to use Tulip Twist to make all sculptures presented in this instruction. Generally we don't stretch balloons. Today we will do it a lot. Here is an example of what would happen if you stretch balloons too much. It will break. So be gentle to avoid it. Ok, so now we are going to make a pacifier. Usually we make bubbles starting from the nozzle of the balloon, pushing the air to the flat tail. Today we are going to do it in a, a different order. We have to move the bubble away from the nozzle to the upper side end of the balloon. And it is only reason we stretch the balloon at the point where we want to inflate the balloon. The balloon always inflates in the weakest spot. Stretching the balloon in one spot creates the weakest spot. Temperature is a great issue for this matter. In my apartment it's around 70 Fahrenheit right now. In this temperature balloon inflates uh, most likely at the nozzle. Yes, exactly. Well, anyway, we have to inflate about 3 inch bubble. Tie a knot. The balloon would uh, inflate at the weakest spot if the temperature was around 90 Fahrenheit. Now I have to squeeze the bubble to force it to the upper side end of the balloon. Make sure to leave about uh, a quarter of inch uh, flat tail at the upper side end of the balloon. Now it's time to make the tulip twist. Force the nut of the balloon about two inch inside of the uh, bubble. Make sure there is no flat tail left at the end of the balloon. Grab the nut and twist the bubble. Your finger is inside of a bubble. Hold this bubble with your other hand and gently pull your finger out of the balloon. Fix all bubbles properly. We have made a pacifier. We can use the flat tail as a bracelet. Keep in mind it is not a real pacifier, it is a balloon. Balloons are not for toddlers. Keep it away from face, especially from little babies. That is how it looks uh, as a bracelet. There are different ways to make the tulip twist. I described it previously in uh, different instructions. The first one uh, named uh, the tulip. You may want to take a look at the indestructible bubble and the rattle. And some more links you will find uh, at our website fewdoit.com. Pink and red uh, pacifiers, usually the most popular among ladies. It limits the choice of uh, rest of us to all blue color. I want to make one more pacifier. The tulip twist is um, some kind of special twist, for me at least. Back days it took me a really long time to figure out how to make it. Once I got it, I showed to my kids how to make it. And to my surprise, they did it at the very first attempt with easy. That's the way it is. What come easy for one person can uh, be very hard for another person. But we all need practice. Practice makes it perfect. The size of bubble is very important for the pacifier. The bubble at the end of the balloon should be larger and harder than the bubble uh, with the nut inside of it. Once again we have to force the bubble uh, away from the nozzle to the upper side end of the balloon. At this end I leave less than a quarter of inch uh, flat tail. Take the nut and force it inside of the balloon with one finger. The flat tail should disappear at this point. Here is my finger inside of the balloon, about halfway through the bubble. Use the other hand to grab the balloon and the nut inside of the balloon and twist it. Let me do it one more time. Grab the nut and twist it inside of the balloon. 
Now I can release the last bubble from my left hand. My right finger is inside of the first bubble. Hold the first bubble with your left hand and pull gently your right finger out of the balloon. All done. Now we can uh, fix the bubbles, adjust the positions. Make sure the nut is locked inside of the first bubble. The pressure inside of the bubble keeps the lock secured. On this sculpture you can see the nut or the lock inside of the bubble. Ok, so we have made a pacifier. Fun decoration for birthday parties, baby shower. The next sculpture we are going to make is a ghost. Hello in common mind right away. And we are going to use absolutely the same technique. Basically there is only difference in proportion of bubbles. I use white color balloon for this sculpture. Inflate about 4 inch bubble. Tie the end. Force the bubble to the opposite end of the balloon uh, away from the nozzle. And here comes the first difference. We have to leave about uh, 1 inch up to 2 inch flat tail at the opposite end of the balloon. For the nut of the balloon about 3 inch inside of the bubble. At this point we are going to make the tulip twist. And it is really nice to keep some flat tail at the end of the balloon. It makes the head of the ghost prettier. Fix all bubbles properly. Let's compare the size of this sculpture with uh, the pacifier. Now it's easy to see the different sizes. Ok. Use a black permanent marker to draw the face and the body of the ghost. Here's the eyes, nose, mouth. For the body I drew just some kind of wings. That's it. Congratulations, we have made the ghost. So the size of the bubbles is the main difference between two sculptures that we have made so far today. The next sculpture we are going to make is a small size apple. Apple has same shape as tomato, so it could be tomato as well. This time I stretch balloon about 2 inch away from the nozzle. Inflate less than 3 inch bubble. Here comes very important part. Uh, we have to tie the balloon about 2 inch away from the nozzle of the balloon. Make sure the short flat tail is um, short about 1 inch shorter than uh, the bubble. For the nut of the balloon inside of the bubble. Grab it at the other end of the bubble. That's actually how we made the tulip. Once we lock both ends of the bubble in one lock twist, we can uh, pull gently a finger out of the balloon and uh, fix the lock twist inside of the bubble. Roll the ends of the bubble towards the nozzle. Make sure the nozzle of the balloon remains untangled. It should merely protrude from the bubble. The nozzle of the balloon represents the apple's bud. And the long flat tail of the balloon represents the stem. We can make the stem as short as we want. I'm going to make it about 2 inch long. So first I have to tie the knot. Uh, about 2 inch away from the bubble. Usually I use uh, green, yellow, red colors to make apples. Here's a yellow apple. And the red balloons also my choice for tomato and cherry. Ok, let's make one small cherry size tomato. Inflate up to 2 inch bubble. Tie a knot about uh, 1 inch away from the nozzle. For the knot of the balloon inside of the bubble to the opposite end of the bubble. Lock both ends of the bubble in one lock twist. 
get your finger out of the bubble, gently roll the bubble toward the nozzle. Congratulations, we have made the tomato, the apple and the cherry. I forgot to shorten the stem on the green apple. Well, there is no much to explain. We made a knot. Now we use scissors to cut off the rest of the balloon. That's it. We have made the apple. We can use the stem to attach the apple to the apple tree, to the Christmas tree and etc. Here is the ghost and uh, the pacifier. We can use it as a bracelet, as a ring. We made all this sculpture using just the tulip twist. Have fun and happy twisting!